So, so today we're, we're starting off with a dungeon. Dungeon! Our first Endwalker dungeon. I like wow. the new outfit that you did. Wow. Thanks. Look, we're all in yellow. Oh yeah, this is the merging of, of quest lines. Right, right, right. Oh yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. Your time in Safnir has certainly been eventful. In my opinion, yes, we would. Beatrice's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all but exhausted our avenues of investigation. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnair. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us, what can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? Release everyone. According to Orenvold and Fudola's report, they were unable to free the Emolja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal. Thus, the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem unnecessary. Unless, of course, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders would be met with overwhelming force. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. Twas by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Destroy the core, and the tower ceaseth to be, thus liberating the captives without harm. So easy. So easy. So we can hope. And I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances of the defenses remaining dormant are small to none. Any primals will have to be dealt with. And defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. May we not then divide our forces? Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Urianger, Kryl, Yostela, and myself. The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk. But it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcosodor by a considerable margin. What do you say? <laughs> you sure? That's <laughs> messed up. <laughs> what of Alize? She knows a healing spell or two. Cool horn. That she does. Cool jacket. But I think Alize herself would assert that she's at her best when she's charging under the breach. And from what I recall from the Grand Cosmos, there's a spring in her step when she fights by your side. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ye gods, would you never let me hear the end of that? Rest assured that I will do what is asked of me, regardless of who I happen to be standing next to at any given time. Dang. It seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rads at Han of our movements. So let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. I do like your get up. Very nice. I think it's my favorite so far. Yeah? I, I like the last the one too. In what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being late. Yeah, you look very cyan-y. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool with it. Yeah.
The Tower of Zot. Commence! Oh, is there a difficulty spike? Finally. <laughs> Speak for yourself, bro. <laughs> Here we go. We can't do wall to walls anymore, all right? Can't do that. It's not allowed. Are you ready? You're the only one. <laughs> Get off me, bro. <laughs> Like Astros or something. Oh, uh oh, shit. uh oh, uh oh, it happened. Just make sure. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, they really, you gotta make sure you're on top of your sprint button. They're really getting you with that. Come on, wifey. Uh, my sprout icon is gone. Yeah. They, they sped up the nope zone areas, so you have to like really get out of that. Get out of that. Get out of that. Don't just stand there. I sprinted. I you, sprinted. Your, I sprinted. Your sprint was a little late. My sprint's a little late. <laughs> Shit. I need my sprout icon back. It's going to be so bad. <laughs> oh, no. I like this music. This is the first boss, too. Sprint, 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 sprint. I have no sprint. I have no sprint. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh, tank died. Tank that died. Danger! Uh oh. It's alright, it's alright. You're not the only one. We just. There's two of us, we just have to survive. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's cracked. That's one way to say it so far. We're still in the first boss fight, and it is a. It's got me sweating, man. Almost there, almost there. Boom, almost boom, there. boom. Almost there. Almost there. Got him! What luck was that? <laughs> That was fantastic. I like that. All right, let's see. Sunderva. If I alone cannot expel... Oh, the, are they going to combine? Like a transformer? Mm. All right. Seems to be a lot, but we got this. All right. If you're a tank, make sure you use arm's length. It does help. Oh, final boss. No matter the cost, we must protect the tower. Voltron. Yeah, Maga sisters. That's what we were talking about last week. Oh, stay on your toes. Keep your sprint button ready. Run, 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 run. Run. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, it's going to be another barrage of things on the ground, I guess. A barrage of lonely dicks. Yeah. A barrage of lonely dicks on the ground. Following you. Oh, stack, 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 stack. It's not helpful when I leave. Join with me, sisters. Uh oh. More stuff. More stuff happening. More stuff. There's stuff. Come on, you just gotta get on the, the things that are nope zones. It's very simple. Very simple. <laughs> just just the nope zones, just don't step on them. <sighs> so simple. Oh my god. Just do it. <laughs> All right, it might be a lot of stuff on the ground again. Oh, fuck. There we go. Center fuck here. Fuck me, dude. Resolve, go outside. Go outside. Rectangle. Rectangle. Yes. Get away from each other. Get away from each other. Uh-oh, I missed that. Look, I did it. Oh my god, I didn't die. I got hit by the last <laughs> one. It was too far away. <laughs> I, I couldn't make it. You're alive. Good job. Yeah! <laughs> Boom. Didn't wipe. Look at us. Yeah. Oof. Join me, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I made myself tinkle a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>
Good, oh, I got good it. Good game, y'all. Good game. Is everyone all right? We fortified the captives with what magics we could. Have the defenses been disabled? All appears quiet for the moment. The lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. A quagmire. A quagmire. I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Stola? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. I said this before. Since since she got the eye thing that can see the ether, they all stopped wearing their little goggle things, and they just, they just now they're just like, "Hey, you're still What do you see? What do you see? Instead of it? putting on the goggle thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the core we seek. Just... Yet All right, we'll off. let you know, Percival. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. It is as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Oh, yeah, that solar flare. Did you see that? Yeah. <gasps> what does she see? There is something there embedded inside the core. Uh oh. It's a person. A man's limb. Uh oh. This is what we came to destroy? Yes, if you'll be so kind. Is it a part of Zodiac? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was super cool. It's just like everyone's got their uses. He did that in one hit. Yeah, he did. And that should be the end of it. Uh, why would you say that, Alfie? Oh, man. What now? Jigs it. Way to go, Alfie. <laughs> My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction okay. doth appear to be correct. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bully for you. And how are we supposed to survive the fall? Uh, magic? Oh, what's happening? <gasps> what are the prisoners below? The floor beneath our very feet dissolves. Brace yourselves. All right. Hold on, guys. I pray I'm not too late. What? What just happened? How did y'all get out? Legit, what just happened? By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood, but it is as if it never existed. It was in a different dimension. Legit. Hardly a scratch. But how? Well, our boy Gra, he did something. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. Wow. Oh my god. That explains the lack of obvious injuries.
The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. A little cat nap. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. He needs a little cat nap. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we we know how to do this, okay? We just give him our ether. We've done this to to, to Angelo. <laughs> They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Angelo and I will take care of that. There you go. Way to be, Alizé. I have every faith in you, Alizé. But there are just too many for you to treat alone. He's not wrong. Mm-hmm. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porksies and call on the local mages to lend a hand. You just need to like... Hail, science! You need a production of porksies, man. Yeah. We were watching the tower when it simply disappeared. What happened here? The threat is banished and thy people delivered. They are, however, in need of treatment. And we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. You shall have all this and more. Come, let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. I was like, are they going to carry them one by one? Yeah, right. My giraffe, buddy. Yeah, did you go? Did you come oh. back? Oh, look at you. Look, he's going to oh. kiss me. Hello, giraffe buddy. Oh, he's... Hello. Oh, yeah, he's hugging he's me. hugging you. He's hugging me. My giraffe buddy is hugging... Look. Hi, giraffe Makes buddy. no sense. He's, Hello. He's, Hello. Hello, my friend. Yeah, he's saying hi to me. They're just standing there staring at each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's a talkie talkie. Are we the last to arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. No, I mean, it's fine. Because I'm still trying to get there. You right? Not at all. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. Much better, thank you. Harnish remedies are certainly potent. Harnish. Always the most. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. The finished ones have been collected and now await you at the High Crucible of Alchemia. 
Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. We are humbled by your generosity. Know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Yeah, right? Wow. Oh my god. Tis of no moment. A mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Albeit brief, my involvement in the Dragonsong War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. And yet, you chose to live among men. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon, and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here, secret and still, hoping against hope that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. It would seem we share the same desire for peace, Great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days, an apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Nay, when war and strife drove my sire from his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as company. He alighted upon a shattered source, its thirteen reflections long since scattered beyond the rift. Of events preceding his arrival, he knoweth not, Save that which Hydralin hath deigned to disclose. I see. So again, tis the inscrutable Hydralin to whom you must look for answers. Seek you to divine the will of this star. If so, I have a tale which may afford you some small comfort. Is a story from my youth many, many years ago. To my sire, I once posed the question, of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? To which Midgard Summer did reply, "'Twas the last bastion of hope. He believed, so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might dragonkind. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. It's not portentous, he said portentous. Did you mean pretentious? No. Is portentous a word? I don't know. I've never heard of it. Portentous? Yeah. Portentous. Ask AI, but. 
Oh yeah, I'll ask it later. Okay. It take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned my sire's conviction. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Talotheroi is far from finished. We must take our leave, but please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. Hold on, Warrior of Light. I gotta talk to you. Pretty a moment. <laughs> How'd you know that was gonna happen? Did you see these tables in the background? These, these ta oh. Which table? That's my legs. Not here. There is one who my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aorzea's champion. This hero of renown and rumor. It's us! It's us. It's wow, us. how exciting. These cool tables in the background. They're elephant trunks. The legs are elephant trunks. Isn't oh, that cool? That's fun. We didn't just cross paths. We have him as a minion. Right. He can literally talk to or follow us around. Right. I only wish he could be with us now. He is not with us. Do you remember why he's not with us? I don't. He 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 used up all of his powers when uh, we were fighting Omega. Oh yeah. And with the yeah. um, that's where we got Alpha from. Right. He's our uh, little buddy. He is our little buddy. He follows us around. Uh oh, wrong. Let's get. Wrong button. There's a giant elephant in the background. The clash to the maker and the long <laughs> slumber which was his price. You wouldn't know that unless you did Omega, though. Omega, but Omega's like not a necessary, <laughs> mandatory thing. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. It is true. He has an epic sound to his mount music. is epic. I like it. Yeah. Yet even closed in sleep, my father's eyes are far from blind. He is watching over thee, watching over this world. Twas a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained amidst God's summer's trust, but alongside my elation runneth a rivulet of dread. A rivulet of dread. That's fantastic. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. Wheel. Wheel. <laughs> TV's always looking for good words. <laughs> He finds a lot of them here. Look, look, I have I, a majority of my vocabulary is from playing games like these, like growing up in Final Fantasy. Like, I, I would just know what words meant because I read them playing RPGs my whole life. And I find them fascinating. And I'm like, well, what's that word? And then I figure out what they mean and I can use them. Amidst this tangled knot, thou shalt know no rest. Tis an endless confluence of forces, a struggle without surcease. Oh. You'll find a lot of hat in Endwalker. Special dialogue you only get if you finished optional content. I, yeah. Interesting. I that might be a response to Mr. Nenton. Oh. 
I think it's that. Well, I mean, I also said it with the Midgar Stormer thing. See, see, see. Interesting. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Um, that's our fault? That's not our fault. Oh, no! Mm. Ice heart. Oh, no! Mm. Limbrita. Oh, no. Uh. Pappy! Uh. And Minfies. Oh, no! Uh. Orchi! They're like, what are you doing? Where are you? We all left already. <laughs> ah, apologies. We haven't meant to interrupt. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out. <laughs> Tis I who must apologize. I have to change your champion over long with idle chatter. I like how his neck moves, I guess. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall, where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. Oh, yeah. Yes. Here we go. These are the talismans we were promised. Yes, and I made a quick count. There are we far fall. more than we could have hoped for. Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Very nice. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper and strike directly at the Telophoroi's base of Sounds operations. like a better plan. Of course, we would need to consult with various Alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. To which end, I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. Okay, Uriange. I can head eastward. He just said he was bored. Ozir and Dalmaska are just a short hop from here. And Doma's shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. We shall share the burden then. Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldessian Annex. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. Please, I must speak with you. She's alive! Yay, Nirana! Nidana, you're awake. Yes. When I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. It seems I've been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. Uh, 
as you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. 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 And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. All of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You've saved Havnair from an awful fate. <laughs> yes, Graha. Yet who has truly saved whom? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Replications of thy work now stand ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. The talisman? Is this true? It is. so groggy from sleep. I didn't even think to ask. Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. Oh, glowing. Hmm. is completely changed. It's yellow. It's yellow like your shirt. What do you have there? It's a flower that Mommy Heidelin gave us. How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feelings. Mm -hmm. You imply that it is distinct from ether. As foreign scholars often conflate the two, but we see them as separate concepts. That's right. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach, a gift bestowed from on high or torn from the heavens in some traditions. Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. As a veteran of the battlefield, surely you've experienced moments of desperation or Exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. That is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. Oh, yeah, that's true. Limit break. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than... Idle speculation. I am sorry. It's kind of hard to test 
If you feel really good, you can re do really good things. It's basically what it, what Akasha is. Nonsense! You have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. <laughs> Shall we depart for Charlian then? Let me just put I this. I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the annex. Let me just put this undying flower back in my pocket where I can't squish it. <laughs> and we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. Quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. Thanks, guys. Look at that yeah. burger is massive. Yes. Where are you in Texas? Jeez. Is it a beyond patty or an impossible patty? Because I'm totally in. <laughs> what? Mm. Oh no! It is falling off! The cheese was dripping really hard. Lest you wonder, <laughs> we invited Astinian as well. But he refused with a rather grim faced no thank you. I suspect Charlian <laughs> cuisine is not to his liking. You have to do it right. Oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? Yeah. Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Poor Astinian, beset on all sides. Give me a cheeseburger. <laughs> He's enjoying his Speaking cheeseburger. Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Quile, I hear. You recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Yeah. Oh, and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. If anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. Well, you probably shouldn't be praying to her because she's a primal. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower. Yes? Twill be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Come to think of it, isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Radzat Han? The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt, the relief of a people with renewed hope. 
Indeed. And in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlophoroi, or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. the swift the spoils though I recall <laughs> that levitation spell of yours was quick enough wow she just mm, only barely. Whole half. and even at my best I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic you unearthed it from the depths of Numenon I presume I and from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. T'was necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. I... yes, well, after a fashion. Shelves, they're too <laughs> tall for me. And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? <laughs> He's so... Oh. <laughs> oh. Maybe wear platform shoes, Gra. Dang. you say shall we call it a night it is night one last cup of tea then Dickens said this brew helps relax the mind before bed and gave us some leaves for free thanks Dickens I take up so much space with my armor mm -hmm. You're just so big anyway. <laughs> Our flower is green. It's turning again. It's because we're all having a good time. Enjoying each other's company. Uh-oh. The death. Oh, man. Ah, oh, it is the color of joy. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, enjoying the bracing cold, I see. I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Yet he doesn't sound sad. Our tower in Thavnir has been toppled, and I need not tell you by whom. <laughs> Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes... questionable. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. That's what I said. We should just attack him. Ah, uh, yes. Very well, then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly, 
Talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is... equal. Equally tedious. Equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. He's so emo. <laughs> I think that's called global warming. Is he so emo? What is he? He should be listening to some My Chemical Romance or something. He should, with his bangs in his face and shit. <laughs> But then <laughs> That's came true. the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, <laughs> enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow until the void yawned once more, and then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead. So I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn. Burn. Let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. He needs that comeback. Listening to Katy Perry. Is that <laughs> The burn song. How wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. What a weird couple. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me. So I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Yes, I think that is something we can both enjoy. The moon. Yeah. All right. Good job. Brb. Bye.